you all know about the Erasmus program Many Languages One Voice, well, the good news is it's going to be on again. Each program gives the opportunity to 35 students from five different countries to participate in seminar in Europe. Seven children from each country, Austria, Poland, Hungary, Spain and French, meet one in each of these destinations. This is ABC News. I'm Shaina Gula. And I'm Ife Damelo. Two weeks ago, Peppa Pig disappeared from Drasko Promoski in Poland. Police confirms Peppa Pig left territory after she was seen on security camera in Gnex airport. Polish President Edges Duda has asked Interpol to work on the case. Two days ago, Peppa Pig appeared on the Chateau de l'Empire security camera hanging from the backpack of Chloe Chouet. Chouet is a repeat offender who has been involved in several cases for the last two years. Police responses were, were massive, was massive. Chouet has been wanted for weeks for the cases. Chouet is now accused for attempted murders. Peppa Pig is now safe in Salon de Provence Hospital and recovering after being starved and dehydrated for several days. Peppa's parents warmly thanked President Macron for, for, the, for his assistance. In the past few weeks, French people have been the concerned with their government's decisions to reorganize their retirement portions. This led to significant amount of dissatisfaction and many people went on strike. The situation has been going on for a few weeks now. Your journalist Sikili Pachisa has interviewed one of the strikers. It's time for the closer look. <laughs> It was uh, for other reasons, the reduction of uh, teaching time of uh, French and literature. Um, I see. What are the main reasons why you are strict to say? As a teacher, I am strike in order to try to preserve my, uh, my benefits, my rights. What do you expect or hope for participating in these strikes? I really hope uh, that uh, this government uh, will change uh, its social policy and listen to uh, the workers. Can you imagine other solutions that going on strike to make the government aware of your concerns? In France, uh, if you disagree with uh, on political decision, uh, if uh, I have a disagreement, uh, you take the streets, you protest. Uh, it's a cultural attitude from historical tradition. Do you think strikes can offer to the country? I think that uh, the strikes uh, allow uh, to regulate um, uh, my country, uh, the social uh, social relationships. Uh, I want to explain to express my uh, my ideas, my uh, my work status. Do you think strikes can also have a negative impact on our economy or anything else? It's a goal. Human beings are superior uh, to uh, the economy. The economy should serve uh, the people and not the opposite. Thanks for being with us today. Oh, yeah. See you later. Our journalists have interviewed a few of the former French participants. Even if they are a little bit shy, they agree to share some of their experience with us. Hey Melissa, I'm happy you are here today. Thank you for inviting me. I'm very happy. So you were in Budapest last year? Tell us about it. What is your best memory? My best memory was uh, the last night of my stay. Uh, we played pool and we were just sitting on the sofa and 
just having fun and that's all. Oh, I see. Did you make new friends? Yeah, I made new friends from Poland and Spain. I'm still in touch with them and I take them some time uh, on WhatsApp. Oh, wonderful! After this experience, do you feel like you want to travel in other countries? Of, of course I do. I'm part of another Erasmus program. Next month, I'm going to work for four weeks in Ireland. I'm very excited about it. It sounds like you had great experience. What advice would you give to the participant to mobility in Spain? Just mixed, mixed, mixed with other people uh, who participate. Um, do activities with them, uh, lunch with them, um, talk with them, speak with them. It's all I can advise you for a great, uh, a great stay. Thank you very much. We wish you a great internship in, in Ireland. Okay. So, Linda, thank you for being with us today. Yeah. You were in Austria last year. What is your best memory? Uh, let me think. Uh, my best memory was in Christmas market uh, in, Vienne, in Vienna. Um, it was the capital of country. Uh, there were a lot of people. Uh, you can drink, talking. It was very, very, very festive. And I enjoyed it. Oh, I see. Did you make new friends? Sure, I make a lot of new friends, uh, Spanish, um, I speak with them in uh, Instagram, it's cool. Oh, I see. Uh, do you have any advice for the next group going to Spain? My advice is, um, I think they're, they're most uh, sociable and uh, to try to speak a lot, a lot of English, we are other participant. It's my advice. Okay. Did you improve in English? Yes, of course. I feel uh, more comfort comfortable to speak English. I understand better. And uh, I think it's easier to speak with uh, non-native non speakers because we have the uh, same level and uh, I think it's easy. Oh, really? It's interesting. Yes. Well, thank you. So thank you, Linda. It's very kind of you. I wish you can keep traveling. Thank you.